Good morning. Bill Hurtado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Uh, those of you that have been watching us regularly on YouTube know this is not my video day. Today is Dean Jones, but uh, a shout out to Dean. He's uh, got a medical situation he's got to deal with. I'm sure he's going to be fine, but he couldn't make it today, so he asked me to step in for him, which I'm happy to do. So, that being said, it's my privilege now to take you through this unit here. This is a good one. You're going to like this a lot, I think. This is a 2021 Magnitude by Thor. This is the smallest one they make. It's the 32 foot. I believe it's the only one they make with the queen bed also, but I could be wrong on that. But let's talk a little bit about this. This is on the F550 chassis, which for any of you that haven't driven one of these, it is absolutely amazing. You've heard me talk about smooth, powerful, and quiet, and this is high marks on all three of those. It handles like a dream. It's got the 10-speed transmission. It's a 21 model, so there's plenty of warranty left on this. Speaking of which, the warranty on the drivetrain is five years, 60,000 mile. Uh, we're almost two years into that right now and it has about 37,000 miles on it. So there's still plenty of warranty left remaining on the uh, full drivetrain there. However, the engine itself is a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. So plenty of life left in this one here for your peace of mind. Thor builds this magnitude in numerous sizes. And like I mentioned, this is the smallest one they make. Let me touch upon a few points here that are really nice about this rig. First of all, Thor is the basically the inventor of the one-piece fiberglass overhead cap. You notice it's seamless. It doesn't have the moldings going through. So their intention there is to eliminate the leaking potential. Uh, they've done a really nice job with that. This one also comes factory equipped with the uh, Alco aluminum wheels, front and back, fiberglass running boards, and four by four. That's a big plus on this thing right here. Especially here because, you know, we've got the mountains with the ski resorts and people love to use these things full time year round. This is the vehicle to do that in, no doubt. You can go anywhere. That four-wheel drive kicks in, it is really amazing. It's a, it's a great vehicle. This also has a side camera package. It's integrated in with the turn signals. So great visibility there. As I mentioned, and I'll probably mention it two or three more times, I tend to be a bit redundant. Smallest unit, but really generous storage on this thing, inside and out. So, in here, you'll see we've got the uh, uh, inverter in this compartment outside over here, the one-piece rotocast compartment, and that goes nearly all the way across to the other side. So long items can fit up inside there. This has a nice patio television outside and the sound bar down below. So great sounding system on this thing. Sitting out here underneath the awning. I believe that's a 14 foot awning. Dean did some notes for me. Let me double check that. Uh, the awning, yes, 14 foot. Little something about this particular awning. Um, as many of you know, I like to do the FYI thing and kind of throw in my two cents. Don't necessarily want to be redundant again, but uh, I, like, I like people to know what they're looking at. The next one they look at, they'll remember what I say, hopefully. So when you see an armless awning like this, the arms are not coming down the sides. They're integrated up into the awning itself. This particular awning has a ripple sensor, a mercury switch, if you will. And if the wind kicks up like it's blowing right now, as you can see, that will sustain that 
uh, movement for a few seconds and then decide it's too windy and put itself away. Awnings that have the arms coming down the sides right here would require what's called an anemometer to have the same function right there. So they tend to get uh, very pricey at that point. This here does everything you want, still the full eight foot span and the protection of automatic retraction. So moving on over here, this is not really a storage compartment. This is the hydraulic unit for the jacks right here. And one thing you may have noticed when the camera was back a little bit is I've got the front jacks down just a little bit. I can't move the slides out unless it thinks the jacks are down. Well, by moving them just a little bit, the indication is, okay, jacks are down, we're good. And then I went ahead and moved the slides out. I didn't want to go through the full-blown automatic leveling, which it does have, but that's why those are down just a little bit in case you were wondering. They don't sit that low. All right. So moving along, we've got the freshwater storage on this. Dean helped me out here. Um, 75 gallons fresh, 47 gray tank, 40 gallon black. So generous on the uh, storage capacities there. This looks like a carbon copy of what we just saw. Uh, this one does, however, go all the way across to the other compartment on the other side. And again, the one piece rotocast, that's redundant in itself. Rotocast means one piece. These compartments will hold 400 pounds of payload. So that's really nice. All right. Remember what we've talked about on my videos? I think just about every single one of them. When you come across a compartment without a lock, it is, yes, propane. So the reason for that, of course, is anybody has to be able to run up and turn the propane off in case of an emergency. This is a really nice feature right here for an outdoor barbecue, oven, uh, one of those umbrella heaters, anything that runs on propane can work outside here on the patio. All right. So, this is a big subject right here. This unit's equipped with a 10,000 pound hitch. So, it can tow 10,000 pounds. Well, the magnitude with the F550 is a little bit different than the others. Again, FYI, what determines the tow rating on a chassis? And the answer is the difference between GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating, what's the most amount of weight this chassis can handle comfortably, versus gross combined weight rating. That would be the weight of this and what you're towing back here. Well, typically on all this stuff around here, it's right on the money. It's 10, it's 12, it's 15,000, depending on the difference between GVWR and GCWR. That being said, you look at the specs on this thing, the difference between GVWR and GCWR is 19,500 pounds. So, we've got nearly a 20,000 pound tow rating on this. However, with a 10,000 pound hitch right now, that's gonna be the weakest link in the chain, if you will. So, right now, it's set up to tow 10,000 pounds. I bring this up because people that are looking at Super Seas typically are going that route because they want that expanded tow capacity. Many of them, uh, you know, I've got them right here next to me, you can't see, but they all start at 12, and we've got them up to 30,000 pound tow capacity. That's the beauty of a Super C, and it's no different here. However, uh, and I've sold many of these in the past, new and pre-owned, this right now is available for a hitch shop to upgrade that to a 20,000 pound hitch for you. Now, that being said, 
Your true tow capacity should be 19.5 because that's the difference right there. But let's round up to 20. So this vehicle, don't be hesitant to go this direction because you think a 10,000 pound hitch is not enough for you. There is a fix for that and you can go higher. So hopefully that I didn't ramble too much on that, but I think it's a big deal because it's something that's inherent with Super C's right here. And, and it's, it's something that a lot of people need, that expanded tow capacity. All right, so moving along, this is also a compartment that goes clear across over to the other side. Your furnace back here is 30,000 BTU. Uh, the previous owner put the little bug screen on there. So some of you may know, and I've, I've been watching this since the 70s, these things called mud daubers love to get in there. They love the smell of propane. They'll build their nests. Suddenly your furnace stops working. So that prevents that from happening. You've got your 50 amp hookup right here. Shore cord stores inside. And this is just cable TV coming in from outside. But also you can use this with the uh, portable satellite dish setting outside. So that integrates right into the multimedia system here. All right. This is obviously fuel for the diesel right here. And this, I showed you on the other side. This is the other side of that pass-through right here. So we've got two full pass-throughs, and that first one I showed you on the other side was a nearly full across pass-through. All right, water heater on this. This is an on-demand water heater. Uh, they say unlimited flow of hot water up to 140 degrees. Well, truly the, the, the specs on this thing will turn itself off after 20 minutes of flow. So semi-unlimited. All right. Over here, our utility station. This is where we have our outside shower. Um, our tanks, black and gray tanks are sitting over here. This is a heated zone in here, and it does also have the heat pads on it. So double protection in this area. You've got your city water fill and a swivel for your termination valve right here. So your hose can come up from the bottom. Doors are closed, aesthetically looks nice. So your freshwater hose and your sewer hose both come in from the bottom right there. All right. I just told you wrong. I apologize. This has the city water fill externally mounted on the outside over here. That little connection that looks like a city fill, that's your black tank flush out. So I stand corrected. For those of you that were about to put the comments in, Okay, I beat you to it. All right, so this also has the Cummins generator, the quiet diesel 6,000 watt. It's running right now in case you can't hear it. Who could hear anything after over what I'm yelling out here? But super quiet, very, very nice generator. Keyless entry, you can encode that yourself with whatever you like. I wouldn't recommend the last four of your birthday or phone number, that's too easy. All right, so moving along. I didn't pop the hood on this thing, but you all know what the 6.7 liter uh, Cummins diesel in this thing is all about. This is absolutely magnificent right here. Uh, I'm sorry, not Cummins, this is the Power Stroke diesel by Ford, it's a V8. 6.7 liter. This has uh, 825 pound-feet of torque. It moves this thing really nice. It's rated at 330 horsepower, but those of you know horsepower is not the strength factor of a diesel. It's the torque, and at 825, this thing moves really nice. It also always finds the right power curve with a 10-speed transmission kind of a big deal. Great unit. It's one of the best driving things I've ever been in. I really love it. 
the three things smooth powerful quiet it excels on all three of those this xg32 has a really really nice floor plan let's take a look at it as i mentioned the bedroom in this thing this is a queen bed model and it's a residential size queen 60 by 80. most people are happy with that seem to get by just fine um, if you buy this unit i'm going to throw in extra pillows just kidding i think it's a bit much with the pillows that was my smart aleck remark there got very deep storage on the overhead cabinets up here but what I really love about this bedroom is fantastic closet space and 10 drawers built in down below. So these drawers are deep and long. 10 drawers, you should not have to bring more stuff than that. Okay, I don't know TV size, I apologize, but looking at this thing, I would say it has to be it's probably a 40, it's my guess. You have a st separate stereo system for the bedroom area right here. Um, you've got your wall plate switches throughout the unit. Uh, not everybody knows it, but these will pop off and sit by the bed if you so desire. And you can handle everything that way. And then USB ports, two here, two on each side of the bed. So six ports all together. All right, so moving into the main living area, this is a non-pocketed pocket door. Uh, so good privacy in the bedroom right here. And then we're basically into the galley section right now. So fantastic pantry directly across from the refrigerator. Really nice setup there. This could be your liquor cabinet if you've got the really tall bottles. I'm not sure Galliano would fit in there, but nonetheless. Uh, residential fridge, both induction and gas on the cooking feature over here in the galley. This has the uh, system that is Bluetoothable to your phone when you download the app. So you can run through all the features of this thing. I'm in the home screen right now. You know, if I want to do all the lights at once, I certainly can. Uh, the shade, we're going to get to that in a sec. The uh, electrical feature of it here, I can program my generator to go on and off at certain voltages or different times of day and my lighting I can do individually through here. The uh, furnace right now shows on, and then I've also got air conditioning controls from here. This is the fan in the kitchen and the mid bath, so those will raise and lower remotely this direction. And I already operated my slides, and of course I can do the awning from here as well. If it's not working, this kind of tells you why not. So right now my slides are locked out. My awning is available. When I turn the key on or start the engine, that's gonna reverse right there. So just be aware that you have to have the unlock showing right there. This does have the uh, inverter on board. Uh, I believe this, yes, this is an 1800 watt inverter. So to I know it has the plugs on the sides of the bed for a CPAP that are integrated in with this. To the best of my knowledge, that also powers up the outlet in the galley right here, okay? Which is retractable out of the way as well. All right, nice bathroom. I'm six foot tall. I fit in the shower just fine because we have the 84 inch ceilings in this thing. You've got three medicine cabinets. You've got the water heater control in the bathroom over there, which you can also set different temperatures. And then this toilet 
is a little bit different. This is a macerating toilet in this one. So the beauty of a macerating toilet for the manufacturer is they can virtually put it anywhere. They're not constrained to having it directly over the black tank because they need the gravity feature. This has its own pump and grinder and it will send your waste to the black tank wherever it may be. Uh, that'll pump well over a hundred feet. You've seen the macerator set up with the SantaCon system on many luxury motorhomes on the outside, uh, which is fine. This is all integrated into the toilet in this one. Why is that important? For one, you never get any clogs. And two, this is a big one for me, you don't have to use that silly RV toilet paper that's so thin it only has one side. You can use the, the Charmin or the Northern or you know whatever you like. It's going to grind it up and send it to the tank. So very great system on this one. I really like it. It's a nice, nice upgrade. All right. So, you know, I had the generator going outside. This is an easy way to know you've got AC power coming into the unit right here because I can't hear the generator at all right now. It's super quiet. Um, I did mention... Uh, the liquor cabinet over here with the tall storage well <laughs> maybe you like the short bottles you can put those up in here either side um, you can't see it right now but the controls for the automatic leveling jacks are right here as you come in the door and then this is a nice extra little feature the coat closet so your stuff's not hanging out into the middle of the room right there all right the seating. This is Thomas Paine furniture. This is really nice stuff. Very good feel to it. And these seats right here are full recline and heated. I mean, it even has lighted cup holders. Now, because I'm filling in for Dean Jones today, um, who's like one of my very best friends. I'm not taking anything away from Dean. He just couldn't do it today, so I'm helping him out. If I remember right, I believe this unit came with a smaller television over here. And it looks to me like it was upgraded. Sorry about that. It looks like it was upgraded to a larger size. People ask all the time, what's the biggest TV I can put in there? Well, this, in my opinion, is probably as big as you'd wanna go because now, sitting at the dinette, you can still get some view out the window. If you go any bigger than that, you're gonna completely block those two windows. And then it looks like they added on the uh, separate sound bar down below. So, very nice. Okay, the dinette in here. a Little bit wider than most. So, four adults can comfortably be sitting there without right, you know, arm to arm. And this one also has the uh, restraint system for a child car seat built into it. So that's very nice. The galley drawers in this thing, very deep. You can put a lot of stuff in those three drawers, two drawers, sorry, two drawers on this one, and then your little sponge holder. Forgot to mention, this has a nice little pull out in the galley right here. Now, if my wife watches this video, I'm gonna have one more thing added to my honeydew list. All right. So, this is a great rig. Two 13.5 air conditioners in here, so a total of 27,000 BTUs of cooling. Running down the road, turn that generator on. It's, you know, Tucson in the summertime. It's super hot. This is gonna cool the entire cabin down on this thing whilst using about eight tenths of a gallon of fuel per hour. So very efficient on the generator right there. Okay, so the overhead up here, grandiose, tons of space. Really nice area for, you know, get the kids away right there. If you'll point forward, you can see that big, window on the one piece fiberglass front cap and this has a nice shade 
that closes off right there. And you may just use this, if, even if it's only the two of you, that, that sun is going across right there and just blaring into the unit right here. That's really nice, keeps everything all closed off and private that way. Little extra storage underneath the dinette here in this drawer. All right, so I'm gonna let you just kind of pan in on the dash on this thing. This has a couple of bucket seats here that it's hard to tell by the picture you're looking at right now, but those are extremely comfortable. Really, really nice. I adjusted it up a little bit when I drove over here right now. And as I brought the seat up, I could feel it fill in the small of my back. Um, adjustable pedals, power driver's seat, manual passenger seat. I'll tell you, I would feel very comfortable taking this on a, a very long drive. Uh, it feels great. All of your media goes through the touchscreen stereo system and the, oops, we're sitting on the button here, and the rear view mirror up here, which is oversized, that encompasses your backup camera. Your backup monitor is up there. The reason that's important to me is because just like all of you, that is where we have been naturally looking to see behind us our whole lives, the rear view mirror. So by integrating that into there, it's a normal feel to just look up and see what's going on there. All right, this does have integrated brake control on it already. Um, like I mentioned, the 10 speed transmission, you never hear it shift. It's just, I can't tell you what a joy this is to drive. Please come down and see me. I'd love to take you out in this thing. You'll be very, very impressed. All right, other than that, we've got pretty much standard equipment on it. You know, you've got the uh, four wheel drive. Don't forget about that. That's a big deal. What size is this? It's the smallest magnitude they make, the XG32. 32 foot, very manageable. People aren't overwhelmed with this extreme length like you're gonna find on the 37s or heck, we've got them up to 45 foot on the lot here. Um, this is nice and comfortable, easy to operate. Smaller unit with two slides, gives you plenty of room inside here. I think this is a very good choice for you to consider right here. And I think also you probably see down on the screen my phone number, that's my cell. I welcome texts, phone calls. Uh, you can email me. Uh, you can call me on the office line. Uh, but just make some contact. Let's get together on this thing. It's a great rig, and I know you're going to be very happy with it. So, any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure once again, and I'll see you next week.